this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I got a little experiment set up here. Uh, I'm using the core from a box fan, which is like this right here when it's wound this way. What I did is I wound it around the outer ring, as you can see here. It's about 52 ohms a wire. Uh, three, co three of the coils are around in one direction. The other three are wound in the opposite direction. Then they're tied together and I only have a, a dual output. This is kind of a hybrid between a QEG and an induction generator, uh, AC induction generator. So uh, you have to bear with me. This is the first time I've ran this thing. I set up a spark gap. Now I've, I've not got a variable control on the motor yet. Uh, I have one, but um, it's it's not ready. I'm not happy with it. So uh, I'm just going to use uh, 24 volts DC through the motor. The belt's real loose, and I put a spark gap on it. So it's running out of here through two wires. So you got two phases uh, wound in opposite directions. Runs over. And it's tied in parallel to 6,400 volt um, three microwave transformers, which is in series, which is about 320 microfarads. Runs through a spark gap in parallel, and it runs to uh, a tr uh, AC transformer out of a microwave, and it's wired in reverse, so it's acting as a step down but I don't expect to get any power out of that. I've wired directly to the generator right now. So it's uh, tied straight to the generator. As you can see back there, it's coming where the wire comes out of here. It's just jumped there and I've got it set on 20 volts AC. And I'm really just trying to see if I can get any voltage at all out of it uh, because this is wound completely different than it is normally and the energy would have to travel around the ring like in a QEG for this to work so um, I don't expect to get thousands of volts without being able to tune the capacitance and the, the variable very the speed of the motor but um, we're gonna see right now if I can get any voltage at all out of this experiment um, the way it's set up currently so let's give it a shot all right there we go eight hundred I don't want I don't want it to energized these and my leads fell off there but that's cool that means this is acting as a generator which is what I wanted to see now I've got to tune this thing out to get exactly what I need in order for it to actually charge those capacitors this is just a preliminary uh, experiment to see if I could get this to work as a generator. Um, it seems to work as a generator. Now I'm going to try uh, those type of capacitors out of a microwave and I've also got a configuration for an induction generator that should be able to once when you're running an AC induction generator you hit about 5 volts that thing just shoots way up. So it, it could potentially work that way uh, as well with the other capacitor set. But like I said, this is just a quick test to see how well this generates power and from what I see it looks like it's going to work. Now remember there are no magnets in this core. This is a come out of a box fan and this is a stator and armature from a box fan like this. And it's wound like that in the fan. So this is a just to test to see how well that uh, will make power. So you can see it absolutely makes power.
Now it's sitting in a big tank because the capacitors are 6,000 volts. So um, there ain't no amperage there at all. This is just a test. So it looks like it's going to work at least basically. <laughs> we're, we're in uncharted waters here. So anything's possible. I've got capacitor configurations to test and um, a few more tests to run but I wanted you guys to see what I've been working on so for now this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out